Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 5. Today we're going to be doing a trailer breakdown for the latest trailer. This is the Alex in Wonderland episode. This is episode 16 of Season 5. I'm really, really excited for this episode because it is the episode where we're going to be seeing Alex in a Supergirl suit, and to me that's really, really, really exciting. I cannot wait. The suit is awesome. We've seen it lots of times. It's going to be on the screen right now. So you guys can be reminded of it. Yeah, it's just fantastic. So I really can't wait. And I think it's such a fascinating idea. And so yeah, without further ado, let's get into this. So the first shot of the trailer, we've got Alex. She is wearing the VR lenses, the Obsidian North VR lenses that we keep on seeing. Obviously, she went in last episode, so she got like a little taster for it. And I feel like she needs that escape. What she says in the trailer is, what I want is a break from the real world. And so obviously something happens to trigger her to want to go back into the VR world, which she had a taster of last episode. And then she goes in and she ends up being stuck because she's so absorbed into this sort of fake reality. So we move on to the next shot. We got her inside that virtual reality. If you remember last episode, what happened when she actually went in? You got this sort of shot like that rotates and in the trailer I think they've sort of cut it so it's like a bit of like a dissolve there's like three different shots put back to back and she's standing up and she's in this sort of very luminescent room which obviously evokes a sort of dreamlike sense so that's definitely in the VR world and so you move on you've got like the big sort of reveal in this trailer which is her landing to the ground as Supergirl in this virtual reality it looks absolutely amazing the suit looks so cool and this is obviously a sort of superhero landing so very much so in the vein of Supergirl and she's wearing all black she's got blue obviously with her she's got the Supergirl wig on it's black it's jet black obviously to go with her suit and to differentiate her from Supergirl and so then in the next shot you get the proper reveal the blue suit with the blue emblem with the blue sort of rims of the suit like and the cape as well and with this Alex says let's go punch some things or something like that and man does this get me so excited because I think Kyla is one of the best things about the show and I don't think she always has the best stuff to do I think she's been better recently than say some of the past episodes and I think giving her this is super exciting because it gives her a chance to properly shine in this sort of new light because this is completely new and it's a really really interesting concept. Let me know what you think about the idea of Alex being Supergirl. I think that's an idea that has just been waiting to happen. I never thought it would happen and I never thought the suit would be this good like if you just look at it you can just appreciate how nice it is. The colour scheme totally works. I love the wig and I love everything that's going on to do with it. Then we cut to the next shot, and so we've got her punching some people, as she said in the trailer, and so she punches this guy through this like wooden wall, and obviously you got her right there with the cape and everything, the suit, and you move on to the next shot back in reality, and this is Akrata saying, we need to find a way to shock her out. And so she's obviously working with, you know, I guess Supergirl, I'm not sure, she may be Kara, but Kara's not really in this trailer at all, so I don't know if Melissa's in this episode or not, but I presume she's in at least some of it, but anyway, this is Alex's episode, and so back in reality, you got a Krata, and she's, you know, very worried, it seems about, because one of her patients, obviously, I guess she can make the link between, like, Kara and Alex Danvers, you know, she would understand that it's a sibling, so maybe it's of importance to her to get her out, but also for the sake of the company's image, you don't want someone stuck in virtual reality like we've had in the past few episodes. And so we move on to the next shot, we've got Alex lying on a sofa with the VR lenses on, but the VR lenses seem to be sort of infecting her eyes, like her eyes are red, so... I guess that's sort of like a symbol of like what like staying on the screen for so long looks like. And so furthering on from that we cut to the next one. We've got Alex in her superhero costume and she is very very happy. She's at some sort of event it looks like. There is some bright colours, some green, some blues and everything in the background. And so this obviously evokes like a kind of happy sense. And she's very happy, she's smiling, she's super excited, and in the trailer she says, I am Supergirl, when she is questioned about, you know, what she is doing, essentially, like, and the fact that people are trying to get her out, but she wants to stay in this reality, because I believe she's found this reality to be very, kind of, exciting, 
and to be very comforting and you know she's able to be supergirl like what's not to love and so she is excited while she's in here and so she's also doing the classic supergirl pose which is the arms across you know the body and so you know it's very supergirl like and i'm super excited then we move on we've got a sort of weird shot it's through the glass of like a cage at the deo it seems like and so this is in fact in virtual reality but it seems like they are breaching into alex's sort of vr world and they're trying to contact her so i don't know who is on the right but you've got alex in the suit right here and she doesn't have the wig on she just has her normal hair and you get to see like the full sort of like side view of the body and man does it look so cool like there is a lot of blue on the side and i really like that sort of matching with the dark blacks and so at this point kelly is giving her advice she's like this isn't you and you know it so i think alex will sort of come to the realization throughout this episode that you know oh shit this isn't reality i think this could be related back to that episode i think it was in season one yeah it definitely was when kara went into the black mercy well when the black mercy got onto her and she was in her own like fictionalized version of krypton and alex went in and saved her I feel like this is going to be happening, but I feel like it's probably going to be Kelly and maybe Jean helping out to try and get inside of Alex and to, you know, bring her out of this virtual reality that she is currently stuck in and she's very happy in. But then we move on to the next shot. We've got her with her normal hair in her apartment and this is still in VR because she's got the Supergirl suit on. She's got the black and blue Supergirl suit and she rips her shirt in the obviously very Supergirl way and she's you know i guess like kind of a bit confused or she's looking at it like she's very much so intrigued by it so is this one of the early scenes is this towards the end of the episode when she's like maybe questioning herself or something like that but then we move on and we've got kara and kara is actually like chained down she is essentially you know been kidnapped it seems like and so i believe this is in virtual reality as well and supergirl is going to come to the rescue because I believe in this fictionalized world, Kara will still exist. And obviously this is the one shot of Melissa in the trailer, as far as I can recall. So I don't know how much she's going to be in the episode, but she's going to be in a sort of hostage situation. It does look like she's got the Supergirl clothes on, which maybe signifies that this is in virtual reality. Because she's got her normal Kara Danvers hair, she's got like a jumper, but then it looks like she's got the blue sort of um, trousers and she's got the boots however it could just be like blue jeans and like normal boots that just happen to look like the supergirl boots and maybe i'm being stupid but anyway so nevertheless whether she's wearing the supergirl suit or not she has been kidnapped and alex is going to have to come and save her and i think this is going to be a decent chunk of the episode or you know towards the end of the episode but then we move on to the next shot we've got alex she is very angry she is about to fight this guy i don't know who it is but she looks awesome once again in the Supergirl suit. And then we cut to the mall, like the shopping mall. And you got Alex as she looks up into the air. So there is something in the air. I don't know specifically what it is. But it's some sort of threat that she's going to be dealing with this episode. And obviously I can't crack that down right now. Because I don't specifically know what's going to be happening with like her storyline. Apart from like Kara being essentially kidnapped. It seems like, you know, there's a few possibilities as to what could be happening right there. And then you've got one of the final shots of the trailer, like just a close up of Alex's face with the VR and, you know, really to emphasize that she is stuck in this world. She's not able to come out and they are going to have to try and save her this episode. And the final shot of the trailer is of Alex as she runs through this mall to fly away or fly towards that danger, whatever's happening, that's what's going to be happening. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, thank you so much, and I will catch you guys later, stay safe in this crazy time, and I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.